In case you didn't see it, we have some massive Hearthstone changes coming this week, and it's going to affect Battlegrounds, Duos, Standard, Wild, um, much more than I thought, much more than anybody thought. So let's get right into it. This is happening this week. Um, first of all, Hearthstone Twitter posted this today. Look at all these upcoming Battlegrounds changes for 29.2.2, and this is a lot. I don't think I've ever seen this many individual uh, changes for the cards ever for any mode, any time. I know they haven't really done this, um, this type of uh, graphic or what have you for a long period of time, but this is a lot of changes. So there's so much to, uh, you know, to go over from this. It looks like they're changing Murloc. They're changing every tribe, it looks like. It looks like they're going to be removing some uh, minions, throwing some minions back out, getting rid of them, making some massive up and down balance to those individual cards. This is going to be cool. Uh, the Battlegrounds mode. Uh, season 7 is amazing. I'm interested to see what's going to happen um, as we move along. This is happening, like I said, this week. Also, uh, the duos mode's being adjusted. Not as many changes, um, but I'm sure that there'll be some opinions on whether or not um, these are going to be good. Uh, duos mode looks fun. Everybody's telling me that it's, uh, it's very fun um, to be playing, and I'm interested in getting into it more. Uh, right now, I'm just getting my butt kicked in Battlegrounds. Like, it always is when a, a new season starts. And then this came out. This is very important. And, you know, recently we've had a lot of uh, discussions over um, the game being boring right now. There's individuals are saying that, listen, there's nothing you can do after turn four for this class or this class. And we've seen a lot of um, transgressions on, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be playing this or what have you. It's, it's a little messy. Um, the game is still awesome, but there is some people saying that the game is not as fun as it used to be a couple of months ago. And, you know, they did that quick balance change to one card uh, the other week to the umpire's grasp. And it went from uh, number one win rate to number six win rate. It was just massive. That one card change will just mess with it so much. And there's all these one turn kill situations and there's all these board pieces that get built that you spend time working on and then your opponent just deletes it in two seconds it with one card very easy to do so they are they're thinking about it they're talking about it they're working on it this note is from the forums and it's hey everyone we've got a really big balance patch planned for later this week with changes to around 30 cards they're going to change 30 cards including buffs and nerfs they're not just nerfing a couple of cards and a few wild changes um people on the wild side are going nuts um since this patch has different goals from most other patches i'd like to provide you all with some more context as to what we're thinking and how we got here in this patch we are attempting to address issues which have cropped up with the overall health of standard like I said, there's been a lot of people talking about this, as opposed to correcting issues with the health of specific meta like we normally do. So what he's trying to say is, is they normally, you know, go for that specific meta when they make the changes. That's why you see like two or three changes here or there. Nothing crazy like this. Not 30 cards at once. Okay. Alarm bells started to go off within the design team when we noticed that the power level of Hearthstone didn't seem to drop much, if at all, after the recent annual rotation. And that was true. Like we didn't see that the, the core set did much at all of anything anything in my opinion uh this sparked a lot of internal discussion about certain gameplay patterns in this current meta particularly hyper efficient aoe board clears we've seen it like i said you have one card and it just clears everything that you've done and it doesn't matter what you've done in you know for the several uh rounds of trying to get that board state to work otk style decks that lack sufficient counterplay everybody saw the master's tour um between nature shaman and you know the zarimi priest it didn't matter what the other opponent was doing it was just who could get that uh combo off fast enough and there wasn't a lot of board control in it yes there was board control but by the time they got that good board it was all in hand they threw it all out and they won the game so that's to me not really fun for both players um so 
OTK style decks that lack sufficient counterplay. We talked about it. Powerful legendary cards like Zerimi, Reno Lone Ranger, and Wheel of Death, which tend to either end the game on the spot or create such a dramatic swing in the game state that the game can feel like is it effectively over. Absolutely, I know each one of us in the past week, month, day have seen that to where whatever we do next isn't going to matter we've already lost the game we just don't know it yet might as well go ahead and concede um, increasing the overall feeling of player agency is our key focus with this patch and it will continue to be our key focus in future patches until it feels like this trend of powerful low agency cards and archetypes have been reversed we think it's fine for there to be exciting dreamy and lower agency cards in this game but not if they're also the most powerful cards in the game. Um, in the latest expansion, too many of these lower agency designs were allowed to become powerful meta contenders. As the lead of final design, and this is a echo um, with this, this, this response, it's ultimately my responsibility to make sure that that doesn't happen. We hope that this upcoming patch will be a big step towards course correcting a few of these mistakes and that by closely monitoring feedback from our players after big changes like this the game will be a great spot for future expansions in the year of the pegasus so this is from aleko like i said the final design lead this is massive in my opinion um i've never seen this in a long period of time if at all that we had this many at once um the idea is and for those of you that are just brand new at this or brand new at games this this runs uh the gamut of all games but player agency is a, essentially the lever level of control a player has over the decisions of the game um your decisions during the game are relevant to the outcome of the game and that's very important um I'm playing some games in Hearthstone and I'm realizing that if they get X, there's nothing I can do at turn three, at turn four. Um, on Wild, it's even crazier. There's, there's you know, uh, turn one um, end game moments. It happens. Um, I love that they're trying to do the course correction. I love that they're going to listen to feedback afterwards. I'm loving that they're getting up front with this. Um, the 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 amount of uh, feedback I've seen so far this came out a couple of hours ago um, and I've seen positive feedback I also hear com people complaining about the uh, weekly quest debacle I have a feeling it's being worked on um, in my opinion it's better to let's focus on the game as opposed to the quest situation um, if they can't do them both at the same time because I do feel I see a lot of pro players or a lot of players that are um, you know really popular on social media saying yeah I'm taking a break I'm slowing down I'm not playing as much because the game is not as fun as it used to be uh, board control is non-existent um, playing decks for one turn kill is exactly what the the game is about right now and that's not fun but i love the idea that they're putting this together and they're working on it and maybe we should see some awesome improvements like i said this is coming out this week we should see this probably in a day or two um massive 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 uh that's all i'll go ahead and i'll leave the link to the forum post and the twitter link to those changes so you can take a look there's a lot to go over um especially like i said on the battleground side look at how many uh adjustments are being made on the battleground side this is great news i'm very happy I'm very excited when i saw this um and i'm excited to see what changes are made and i'm loving that it's not just like i said a couple of nerfs to see what happens they're hopefully making some massive changes that are going to make the game just as fun as it was the day we started playing so that's it i'll talk to you all soon see you in the next video and like and subscribe if you like what i'm doing Thank you.